So I was trying to say something in it, and it just it helps me to be able to say these things. In Argentina, you have a situation which is very hard to dis- describe. It's it's when everybody kind of knows what the truth is, but it can't be stated for weird reasons. I mean, and there was a situation like that in Argentina at that time with the with the newspapers. It was really quite clear that the government was out to destroy those two newspapers using Papa Prensa and using Timmerman's claim that they got Papa Prensa on the torture chamber and that they were stained with blood and all that stuff. It was quite clear, but at the same time you couldn't really say that out loud and people could pretend that that wasn't happening. And of course you didn't want to think it was happening too. And there again, you couldn't think that a government would be like that. And that's one of the problems with this government, I think, because you don't really know what they're up to. You don't know really what they're up to. In, in that sense, the situation is structurally similar to that of the 70s. People knowing what's going on, but, but not daring to speak up. Yeah. Again, I'm not saying that... No, no, but it's very similar. Yeah, it's similar. Don't you think? What do you think? I'm not saying that... I'm not equating this government with the dictatorship. What more? What but do you the think? phenomenon of knowing that this is the truth, but we're not going to say it, that happened back then and disappeared. It happened now with Papel Pérez and la Nación. It wasn't until Bob spoke out about both issues that things began to change. I find this going very much like the Perón first government. The government of Perón. I find it very much. The way they act, many things. Not as bad, perhaps. Uh, in something. I mean, I'm, I'm for this government that says what the human rights, what they've done to the woman, they've given her money, they've done very good things, uh, the gay you know, marriage, the all those, yeah, the pensions, all that I think is, is very good. And uh, But uh, uh, the part of uh, uh, that I find very, very like is with the, with the people, not so much of the 70s, you know, I would think it goes back to Apold in the, in, in, uh, with Peron. Peron had the prince had taken then he had a whole group, Democracia all by Apollo, and they all talked with the government exactly the same, exactly right, the same. Huge network. Ne- Nación was a, a wishy-washy paper. My father used to like it for a while. was more compatible, but then they kicked it out as well. So finally you had Nación and all the recritica was like today the Clarín, una cosita ahí that people like to read it, but it was. And all the rest, they mo- I can't remember the democracy for this one. It was several. They had about four or five of them. I remember the democracy well. And they all were taken by a poll. They were invented. The same thing with Polsky. I think for me, Polsky is a poll. 